period. That was a 4-0 victory for Zhang Peng. The next time they played, a little bit later, as time goes, in 2022, and Lin Shidong won 4-0. Two right-handed shake hands attackers as we meet Akram Benatia, your gym buddy, your spotter, gold badge umpire, always fresh and ready for the Player, best please, in the world. get ready for the toss. So as they tuck in and tie up, they'll get ready for a marathon rather than a sprint. Just a little bit of last minute hydration here. Man, taking his time. Towel over to the box. But you want to see time? Get ready for Ma Long when he comes out. That'll be the next match. Handshakes and time for the coin toss. Please, player. Me. Toss time. Blue or red? Red for Chang. And blue for Lin. Blue, Lin Shendong, you win the toss, what do you choose? Service for Lin, which side? Good match. So there it is, the table has been set. Lin Shidong wins the toss, chooses to serve. Zhang Peng chooses the left side of the table. They'll have two minutes to warm up, and I'll have a little time to introduce my friend and fellow table tennis enthusiast, evangelist, and commentator, Fraser Riley. Fraser, good to have you back. Hello, Adam. Buzzing for this match. Two rising stars of Team China doing battle in this men's single semi-final. So talk to me about Lin Shidong here, the 19-year-old. Well, he's a man who needs no introduction, but because you asked, I'll give him one anyway. Thanks. What an amazing backhand this kid has. It's unbelievable, isn't it? And this is his run through. Man, Nicholas Burgos, Shue Fei, Anton Shelberry in the decider, Anders Lind 4 to 0. Burgos took a game off him as well along the way. But Anders Lind, I saw that was on table two. Some of the points in that match were incredible. I think when you play well enough that they put you on table two, you know you've done something right for Denmark in table tennis. 21 years old, Sean Pung. Two event titles to his name, according to our stats here. And for me, this is a real big breakout event. Got through Nicholas Lum of Australia, 3-0. The Pharaoh Omar Asar, 3-1. Felix Leblanc, the top seed holder in the world, 3-1. And Jules Norgard in the decider in the quarterfinals yesterday. A lot of spectacular play from this one. Absolutely. He's a former world youth champion, Lin Chagong the current World Youth Champion. Here's a look at what they're playing for, as well as the prize points and trophies. $100,000 to the champion. I mean, what would you do with that kind of money at this age, Adam? Man, at that, I think I would have invested it. I would have put most of it away. I'd start eating organic food, grass-fed stuff, and then uh, invest. <laughs> so here we go. More than three quarters of the fans believe Lin Shidong will win this with 76%, the other 24 for Xiang Peng. Based on their recent history and the form Lin Shidong has been in, think about what he did in Macau. Have you ever seen someone dismantle Wang Chuqin the way he did? Unbelievable. 4-1, wasn't it, in that, in that semi-final? And then he went on to beat the European champion, Dan Cho, in the final, 4-0. So we're looking at a young man, a 19-year-old, still a teenager, who is undefeated in his last two events, including this third one here, WTT. And this is the biggest. This is, well, the first smash that the world number one hasn't taken this year. First game, Lin Shidong to serve. So Lin Shidong looking to pull off three back-to-back -back WTT events, winning everything he's played. Starts with the serve, a parallel backhand, still just looking like he's sort of testing the waters here. One, one. So the parallel backhand comes out again, a little bit more power this time around, but Shang Peng adapts quickly. Seems like more of a forehand orientated player, Shang Peng. A bit more of a classic style than Lin Shidong, who doesn't seem to pivot as often. It's funny, that's a really good point. I think of that for table tennis longevity. The older you get, the more you need your backhand because you can't afford to run around and chase back the wide forehand. Yeah. And there's that forehand you spoke about. Thinking back to some of the matches he's won, Shang Peng along the way, he's played some good backhands from behind the table with devastating power and consistency. It's definitely an area of improvement that we've seen from him. So interesting here. Shang Peng defeating the Olympic finalist, Charles Moragard. That was an outstanding victory. And he did well to regather himself after Moragard stole the fourth game. 
what was it, 2018? That's right. I was impressed with his mental strength as much as his ability there. Right, that's a good reminder. It can be devastating. Now, the first point was very casual, but four of the next five have gone to Shang Punk. Stable here, just trying to cover that middle. Lin Shadong planning how he'll transition when the ball is played to his elbow. Number seven in the world in blue, number 68 in the world in red. And they're playing in the final four of a marquee event. That's the back and the power on this, the confidence to be that free to go for it. Unbelievable. <laughs> How he sends that shot out there. Seems like he knew that Chong Pung would want to step around, so he played it extra wide. And it's the forehand. Once again, Sean Pung using the backhand well in that rally. Good cover of the middle. There's the backhand that sets him up. Gets a more passive shot, so he moves back in, aggressive. And for the most part, although Lin Chidong's backhand is so strong, when he manages to get Lin Chidong away from the table, Sean Pung will put it to the backhand more than not. Perfect combination right on top. A suffocating kill shot down the line from Sean Pung. That was scary good, this flick. Gets the bat high, not much time to work with there. Catches a little bit of the edge as well, but takes his chances with that Aerosmith shot. Mm, service game, mixing it up. Tried something a little bit different, Shang Pong. Maybe it was a floatier serve than he may have anticipated. Good length too, a little bit shorter, a little bit wider. This one sits up a bit higher, still not easy, but Shang Peng well calibrated, keeps the racket closed to come down over the ball. Yeah, that was key. Sometimes you see even the very best overthink those shots because you've got quite a lot of time on your hands. Right. Sometimes too much time. Oh yeah, what to do? <laughs> Aya, a Liu. Now remember, Lin Shidong might feel like the big brother here because of his world ranking and how much we've been seeing him in the last two years. But in all fairness, He's two years younger than Shang Peng. Mm. Different players flourish at different rates. They've both been works in progress. Aren't we all? Yeah. Beautiful forehand flick up on one foot. Lin Shidong in the short game tightens up the scoreboard. I mean, we kind of expected Lin Shidong to get to this stage because of how he did in Macau, but I, I'm more surprised Shang Peng has managed to get this far. This is. Like you said, Adam, the best run of his career so far. You and I are pretty hardcore table tennis fans. Shang Peng is one of those names that we've heard a lot of, and we haven't seen his face in the deep ends of the major events. Yeah. So this is sort of a breakout performance for him and a chance to really put his name on the map in a new way. Let seven, seven points apiece, seven. leveled here. Tight serve to the short forehand side, Lin Shidong trying to get that backhand into play, but not much time for real racket speed to put spin on the ball. Understand why I tried to go for it. It can be quite confusing when you receive a short forehand ball with the backhand. Zhang oh! Kong with the bait once again gets a passive receive inside the table. The push, there's the heavy spin to finish. Hold the wrist back. That was a lovely flick inside the table from Shang Pong on the third ball. On the forehand, he sets it up with the backhand. The Chiquita side spin, heavy top spin as well. It's a more passive ball back. And now three game points for the underdog based on recent history, the fan vote, and world ranking. Pancake flip attempted. The show's push, and then at the last moment, much like a man you'll be seeing in the next match. It's clever, it's tricky. Yeah, I was just thinking about my long when you said pancake flip there. Who think else to think about, right? He's he's yeah, the one. He is the one. He is the Neo of our sport. <laughs> 
Two game points left for Shang Peng with the serves. The struggle, the backhand, it wasn't overpowering, but it was a lot of work, persistence, and positioning. Sean Kung comes back in to take the point, controlling game number one after a big recovery, just right into that elbow. The pinpoint, and Sean Kung has kept it uncomfortable. Mirror, mirror on the wall as Lin Shidong looks at the racket to contact the ball. 11 8. First game in the best of seven taken by Shang Peng. No coaches on the benches, so it'll be up to their experience, their conscience, their inner monologues to guide them through. Back for game two in just a bit. table that is. People often ask what is good in table tennis? When does it count? Well, it can't hit the side. It must touch the playing surface. Which means the top of the table, even if just the slightest bit. Back for game two. Shang Peng to start it off with the lead. Now this is interesting for me because he's clearly got Lin Shadong thinking, playing passively from the baseline on the push, but it works out for Lin Shadong. Yeah, beautiful shot tolerance there from, from Lin Shadong. I think Shan Pong did a remarkably good job in the first game to you know, touch well, stop Lin Chidong from getting in those big shots, particularly by playing it into the mids region, the elbow of Lin. Will that change? Probably the most noise I've heard <laughs> mid-rally. Yeah. Every once in a while, someone's got something clever to say in the crowd. I wonder if the player stopped and said, hang on, can we just replay? Would the umpire allow that? It's an interesting gray area. I think if the players agree, the umpire tries to stay out of it, generally. Good turn, fast feet, Shang Peng. The thing that stood out for me again, I like pointing out quads for inspiration, but Shang Peng, like Zhang Ji Ke with the Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> just unbelievable, the quads, how fast he is to turn. He's jacked, isn't he? Lob comes down, a crushing shot, but he's still in it. Oh, look at this! The backhand counter, moving back in. What? Oh, just deep, Shang Peng survives it. He hasn't had trouble. Think about how many players have lobbed to Shang Peng. You get through Truls Morgard. Lin Shadong with the backhand way behind the table. Wow, I mean, Shang Peng shouldn't really have to have been worried about those coming back. Lin Shadong showing fantastic defensive ability and turning it into attack. And that's one of the differences because Shazad Haka, our co-commentator, asked me earlier, how do you compare Lin Shidong to Fan Zhendong when he was 19? I can't remember Fan Zhendong doing that kind of thing at Lin Shidong's age. Right, that's a good call. He was taking titles at 16, which is quite impressive, even earlier than Lin Shidong in terms of, you know, the adult game. But yeah, he really developed himself over time. And this right here, a trail of smoke behind that. The confidence, he holds nothing back on this. Thank you very much. Just another day at the office with that backhand. Chung <laughs> Kong doing a wonderful job again to cross him over to keep him uncomfortable. For me, from the start of this game, we saw much more passive play like Lin Shidong was saying, I'm not going to take your bait. I'm not going to make the first attack. You make the first move, and I'm going to challenge you for positioning on the counter. <laughs> Footwork tested. Oh, almost gets it back. I was wondering if we were going to see a hand switch. Yeah, we would have loved to. In some situations, it's actually useful to have it. Maybe that would have been one of them. Doesn't miss by a lot, came quite close. Man, the soles on those shoes. 
Probably the best endorsement for any shoes, the fact that they're still together. <laughs> Heavy rotation on this. Six, Cutting off the four. bottom left corner of the ball on that. This might sound funny to say, but the elbows of Lin Shadong and Liang Jin Quinn just remind me <laughs> similar elbows. You break off the net here. Had you thought that at any point? Five. There's something kind of slight about the arms, but there's something more built towards the chest and, and, and torso, I've noticed. Lin Shadong, definitely below average height of a Chinese national team member. Shangpong average, I'd say. Yeah, seems reasonable. That sound, you can hear how aggressive that contact is. The fact that Shangpong gets it back. Here's another thing. I think there's a lot of table tennis players watching. Many fans watching right now are playing already. Others will discover the wonderful magic of the sport later on. That you don't have to be the most powerful player to win. Mm. Ma Long is the greatest of all time, the most celebrated. Never really thought of him as the most... In 1978, cocaine hit Miami like a tidal wave. Whoa. Your brother's the biggest trafficker in Miami. I'm gonna need you to provide us with intel about this operation. Every pleasure has a price. Get high, he's recovered quickly. He's placed it well. He's playing very smart table tennis. Good defense for one, but Chong Pung right there after turning the corner gets back for a finisher. Fantastic shot. Bent the wrist, curved the ball with power. <laughs> You've got to really actually be quite relaxed in the hand to be able to do that. What an uncomfortable ball to have to recover from such a big stroke to get back, and still he uses his agility and plays it right back to the same corner. Please, no flash. I think you were you know, referring to Ma Long. I thought about the word divisive because we often talk about that word. And Shang Pong at the moment is the more divisive player. A little bit of taste of his own medicine on the recovery Seven, here. Eight. Yeah, we definitely use that word for the backhand, I know. Yeah. Look here. Side and top spin once again from Lin Shadong. You can be brave to push so quickly. Some people are more afraid to push like that than just flick the ball. Understandable, giving up the first attack, allowing your opponent to take the first big swing, strategically nonetheless. And finally a shot that comes back from the backhand, just racing up towards the face of Shang Pung, how he has to bend around to get out of the way. It was a nice parallel forehand from Shang Pong. Couldn't have really played much of a better point. Lin Shadong's backhand away from the table, just bellowing into a really fantastic area. See how much pressure he's been put under. When's the last time you saw a fast, nine, long nine. serve to the backhand from Shang Pong? It seems nonsensical, especially against this backhand. But maybe that's why he did it, to break apart and to go against the grain. It is funny how that works, right? The thing that's least predictable and the most obvious choice to stay away from is the thing that the opponent isn't prepared for and now leveled out here. Lin Shidong with the last two serve combination in this game. Athleticism, what have you oh. ever seen Wong Hao get wow. out of his seat? He couldn't sit still. The smiles, the blush, Liu Hung and Wong Hao, the happiest man I've seen. This rally, spectacular. Unbelievable. Yeah, I've never seen Wong Hao. Three-time Olympic finalist. Smile like that. And it earns game point for Lin Shidong with the serve. Backhand carries long. The quality of the point before this. Yeah, it was am amazing and it was humbling. Humbling to see a 19-year-old already able to do something like that. Serve success here. Shang Peng, 7.8% more successful. Alternating serves here at Deuce.
I hope he's fine, but this was just incredible, the grunting. It's a fine balance of concern and applause. Keep your eyes on the feet here, Shang Peng. Oh, it just slips for a moment. A little roll on the ankle on the right. Hopefully he gets up fine. I think he collapsed in a way that it took all the weight and pressure off and he'll be okay. Yeah, I think so. Thank goodness for that. We want to see this match continue. We want to see him okay. I mean, these Chinese players, they hit thousands of balls. They know everything. And it looks like they're so happy. Oh, as Lin Shidong. I was about to say, so happy that both players are bringing their best. But because of the commentator, well, and they still are. They have to take their chances. Lin Shidong, it's with the quality of point that we've seen, this is only just a sampling in a best of seven. If Lin Shidong is able to take this game, we've got a long way to go. That said, Shang Peng is not making it easy. Serve back with him, second deuce point. That is the most powerful near the table Eleven. backhand from Sean Pung. Had Lin Shidong hit this, we'd be like, man, Lin Shidong is crazy. Sean Pung, we were talking about how his forehand is his weapon of choice. But when he chooses it, the backhand, he's got it. Got it in the locker as well, yeah. Game wow. point, Sean Pung on the receive. Worked out well last time, didn't have to touch the ball to win the point. Different this time around. Top side's been served to the backhand as Lin Shidong sends it into a fourth towel break. That was a clever serve to use. I think he must have sensed that Shang Pong may have been a little bit nervous because it was a slower, quite obviously topspin serve, shallower on the table. Not as deep as a long serve he'd normally do, it seemed. Interesting. Maybe, maybe. Finally a spot to step around. We know what he prefers, the team doctor loving it. Qin Zhijian, Sui Ching Lei. Big backhand, that step around. That would have hit him in the left shoulder had he not moved his seat. It probably would have passed him on the left if he had stood still from the time it was contacted. Tough way to get that upper body out of the way. Serve back with Lin Shidong for another game point. It comes back just as fast as it comes in. Lin Shidong captures it. A high scoring game this one, and a high octane game indeed. And that was one of the best individual games we've seen here at the China Smash. Such free play, and they're not intending to rally. Testament to what this match really is offering with these two young stars. come back for game three to see who takes the lead. Fraser and I having a fun little talk about sort of the state of table tennis at a global scale. Yeah, I mean, the Chinese have been dominant since 99 in the, in the men's and women's side, I guess. But, you know, we're often trying to look for cracks. What generation, what, what, what time period could the Chinese game, be usurped? Listen down to sir, last all. I guess 2000 Sweden. <laughs> won the world champs, but other than that, it's just been few and far between for big upsets on the major stage. In the big sense, One, no. you're looking, you know, Lin Shidong, as strong as he is, has been beaten more than any of the top, let's say, four in front of him on the Chinese national team by non-Chinese players. At least in the last two One, years. One. There's been a few that have done it, like Yogic, for example. Haramoto. Sure, there's a list. That said, the way they're playing out here, as you said, the freedom that they're playing with, Rally of the Century 2015, it feels like that quality of points is what we're seeing. Yeah. The footwork, the power, the effort on every shot, 
And still it's a chess game in the sense that they will slow it down at times, and that will be the right answer on many occasions to not be aggressive. You can feel it, Lin Shadong trying to spin. Sean Kung with these hard drives, still some arc on him. You can see right here the arc on every single ball. I think we know people, Adam, that would have fun just listening to these points. No. Aren't we these people? <laughs> no, without even having to see it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Don't oh. get me wrong, I'm thrilled that we can see it as well, but the sound, <laughs> we know what's going on. <laughs> Oh, right back to where it came from. A bit of net on the side there. Lin Shidong, quick move. Reads well, short stroke, just a step behind the table. Mm. A backspin he won that. Wasn't obvious at all there. Wow. That's really tough to read, even in the replay. I'm still not even convinced. All I know is it came back into the net. Could have just been less topspin on it than there appeared. Perhaps, perhaps. I don't know. It just seemed to bite a little bit in front of Shang Pong. Good reasoning. Right down the middle, the power of the backhand. You know, we talked about this coming into it, like Lin Shidong is just going to be this ball of power that Shang Peng is going to have to try and carve a game out against in some way, come up with a plan. But the power, there doesn't seem to be that much imbalance. Good placement here. Soft hot potato play in the beginning to stay off the attack, keep the opponent from getting in strong. A nice variation. And Chidong trying the fanning backhand, which can be a creative shot used to get out of that transition zone. Simon Gozi doing that especially consistently. Sneaks it past him down the line. Now in terms of consistency in terms of power, Lin Shidong has taken the bigger shots with the backhand more often. Xiang Peng mixes it up, uses the backhand divisively, but also explosively from time to time. Five, four. In case you're newer to table tennis, nothing superstitious, just drying their hands there on the table where the ball's unlikely to bounce between towel breaks. Four, Takes his chances six. on this one, a bit more pace on it, Xiang Peng. It felt like Lin Shidong had some of the power taken out of him in that round. Yeah. How much of his power is because he's feeding on pace? And how much of his power is coming from him off a slower ball? In the edge here, Shang Kong with an escape. The fans loving it all the way up to the back row. I think that last one, the backhand, seemed to come off the edge of the racket, but still keeping the defensive play as spinny as he can to keep Shang Pung as far back behind the table as possible. Leg. Five, six. What are you thinking? Just in awe of this match so far. This has been mouth water in table tennis. Nice yeah. little touch from Lin Shadong. Seven, five. There's a turning point here now. How important was it that he won that last game? Well, the obvious answer is very, but from 2-0, it would have been extremely different. Lin Shadong cannot win the triple crown here. He lost the men's doubles final after being 2-0 up with Lin Gai Yuan, so. This would mean probably even more to him if he can win this. When you win a smash, and this is the first ever China smash, been reading comments on social media online. Everyone's been super excited about this event because of course it's in China, the land where table tennis is the national sport. More popcorn, please. This is just too good. After a net recovery, Lin Shidong down below the table, just above the ground, gets into this type of rally. 
Here, check this out. Yoink, still in there. And it's not fishing, it's counters. Look at the chase, the leaping here. How many steps for that one backhand from Shang Punk? It's hard for us to commentate this match in a way because we can't finish a point because of how long theirs are going on for, and it's fantastic. Good variation in the push here. Lin Shadong mixing it up with his backspin, his underspin in this pushing game. Three-point lead. The scoreboard to me is almost deceiving right now. Yes, yes. I feel like the main story is Lin Shadong isn't playing his game, and it's working for him. And now he is, and it goes Sean Pung's way. Nine, seven. You and I talked again about Fang Zhendong and the development over the years. I think the ability to adapt and not have to play your game to win is a sign of maturity that will go very far for Lin Shidong. Absolutely. Because, you know, when you think of his A game, you think of the backhands, the big counters. But he's not always going to get given that opportunity. There it is. Two firepower shots, slows it down for one, and it creates the opening. As Yun Li Tsun and the rest of the gang watch on, that sets up some game points here. Look at that counter and the placement. Three game points now for Lin Shidong, and he's got a second serve here to convert. Oh, not even a move. Deer in headlights moment for Shang Peng, staring at the opponent. What have you done, Lin Shidong? Power and a quick flick of the wrist. That wasn't a block. That was a counter attack. It was a Bruce Lee one-inch topspin punch. 11 to seven for a two to one lead. The sixth seed takes the lead two to one. Game four to follow. Here's a little look at the champions so far at WTT events. The Roll of Honor in 2024. Wang Chuqin started it off. Timo Bol, Felisa Gran. Wang Chuqin once again. Liang Jingquin, you'll see later on. Wang Chuqin back again. Hugo Calderano. Liang Jingquin, the dude, Benedict Duda. Fang Zhendong, Alexi Lebron. The thrill from Brazil, Hugo Calderano. Dima. And then two for Tomokazu. One for the Seaman, Darko Jorgic. But the last two, Contender Almaty and Champions Macau. The man in the lead, two to one, in blue, out here, Lin Shidong. The closest man to beating Lin Shidong was Oh Jun Sung, who had a match point on him in the Almaty final. He is strong, my Four goodness. Game, to serve, that's all. Oh, right. He's another one of these new generation players that are in the conversation. Good misdirection here. One. I think we'll have years to talk about Oh Jun Sung. Hey, wait a minute. Is it bring your kids to work week over here? Golden week, the holidays? Six of the last eight point for a man who would have no kids to bring to work, we'd imagine. I guess both of those, one, that didn't really one. clear it up. Let's say Lin Shidong, six of the last eight before this point. You never know. I never do, I'm bad at that stuff. <laughs> one point apiece here, Lin Shidong with the serves back. Ooh, as wide as can be. In terms of the barriers, the Infinity Arena is quite wide. It's definitely long and deep. It's a great place to play tonight. To get your Howden's Kitchen through a trade professional, book your free design appointment now. Because if you want a kitchen... Angle on this one, making the move in quickly. The receiver just pops up a little bit here. Looked like there was a little bit of top spin on the shovel serve. Champong tried to come around the ball a little bit more to trap that spin. Mm, again. Three, two. Brilliant long serve from Champong. They're both using that shovel action coming around the side of the ball. It's tough to identify, like looking at the side of a person. <laughs> Does that work? 
Sometimes looking at the side of a person, it depends. I don't know, a lot of people are recognizable from the side, right? <laughs> Alfred Hitchcock, for example. <laughs> so, Shang Pung at the first towel break with a 4-2 to two lead. The effort put into that first backhand and then changes the pace, which completely changes the timing. Lin Shidong, for me, he's got the power. He doesn't need the power from the opponent. But from a timing standpoint, it's tough to recalibrate after such a quick change against a player who's capable of playing so fast. Zhang Peng a step further behind the table here than his opponent up. Good facial expression there. The feeling of when you've been had, at least in that last point. The interesting thing to me is between the two of them, it looks like Lin Shadong is squirming more. Like mm. he's uncomfortable to play his game. Think about where he's served from, the types of rallies he's gotten into. Yes, this is the first game that's been so one-sided. But even in the game before, he won it. But it felt like for a while, he was just sort of looking around saying, I don't know, I don't like this, I haven't found the answers yet. I think when you're used to being so dominant, yeah, he yeah. recognize when someone's standing tall on the other side. For sure, for sure. He's, he's a shot maker, and he, wanna, he wants to play those shots, and he knows that he's known for those shots. And when he can get them in, they're often unreturnable. So when he's not doing it, he's thinking, okay, why, why? Do I feel like I, I'm just stuck in the mud here? Right, and whether he's thinking about being known for it or not, I just think the idea of your usual self not being able to play your game. And this one is crafty. Right inside the baseline with the ball just slightly more shallow, able to capitalize. Opening up the body a little bit more to play that one. Into the forehand from the middle there, Lin Shidong. Mm. Didn't have so much Seven, space to work five. with there. Just made enough. Swept the right leg back. Yeah, good stance, good lean. Creating space for that forehand. Two-point ball game now. Lin Shidong back within striking distance. Pretty good mix in the crowd. Play, please. Seven, five. Makes you wonder if Ma Long has entered the arena or something. It's a bit of a stir. Seven, six. Served wider to the backhand. Here's Lin Shidong powers up with some extra spin. I predict he's going to point out. out a flash in a second. I can see it. I've seen it there for a couple of minutes. Oh. Well, time out here now for Shang Peng after three in a row scored by Lin Shidong. Surely by the time they're back, that flash will be taken care of. So Fraser, to stop this comeback, Zhang Peng calls the timeout. Anything you'd expect to see from him? It's tough to say. I mean, he wants surprise factor. He wants to tie Lin Chidong up and try and get in the first attack himself. Again. Seven, six. I mean, I'd be surprised to see a long serve here. That could be a reason why he'd do it. I'm showing from forehand. Seven, interesting, seven. interesting. That would tell you that he would probably prefer to have a backhand over the table on a third ball. Yes, yeah, somewhere on the table anyway. 
Does set him up, set himself up for a few backhands, but right out of the timeout, it's diffused by Lin Shidong. Quick move down the line, Lin Shidong. You could hear the feet just scraping off the best flooring here. Keep your eyes on Shang Peng's feet. Slip on the left there. Six of the last eight, Lin Shidong. Not bothered by a timeout. Continued on. Good angle on this, Sean Pung, to go back wide. There's one thing he's got over, Lin Shidong, it's the wingspan. Nice counter there from Sean Pung. Who do you think would win in a race, a sprint? No doubt, Sean Pung. That's how I feel, so maybe two things then. <laughs> wingspan and footwork, that's mm. impressive. Two good things to have in your bag. And a tight serve here Nine, begs for eight. the flick. It's funny, at the start of, I think it was one of these recent games, we saw more pushing out of Lin Shidong playing a little bit more passively. And eventually it worked out his way. Shang Peng back in front. And he returns everything. It's the eight, power eight. with Lin Shidong. And Sean Pung there, hey, Wang Chu Chin must have entered the room. There he was in the black jacket. As Joe Chi Hao and the others watch on, it is a few game points here. A couple for Sean Pung, up 10-8. Eight. eight serving 10, Lin Shidong. but a drive down the line, a risky shot pays off. Not an easy ball to counter, very, very spinny. Just to get extra low, wraps around that one. Beautifully, then she go. One more game point here, Shang Peng on receive. The long push, the unsung ten, ten. hero. The Bruno that comes out here, it's the less talked about of the pushes out here, serve success. And then Shadong now up by just about 3%, 2.9, I guess. Regardless, alternating serves here at Deuce. And the spin, Lin Shadong. This has been back and forth throughout from the youngsters in the crowd. To the fans all the way up to the back, that side spin, the bending backhand paid off. Yeah, it came kind of down from above a little bit. Just kind of wobbled the ball uncomfortably for Shang Pong. Oh, what a counter, a combination here. He recoils and sends it back to where it came from. Return to sender, Lin Shidong will not receive your mail. So a three to one lead after the timeout was pulled on the other side. Favoring the fan vote here, Lin Shidong wants to make 76% of you, the fans, happy. And Xiang Peng will continue the fight that has been wonderful to watch. But it's gonna be a long, hard road out of this deficit. It is 1-3 for Xiang Peng after being beaten 14-12, 11-7, and 12-10. It is Lin Shidong one game away from the final. Coming up next, we've got Liang Jing Quid, world number four currently. He'll be battling against a player he had never beaten before his last encounter. The 35-year-old who will turn 36 on October 20th, the captain, the dragon, the dictator. Lots of rumors, lots of talk. We never know how long we have with Ma Long, especially with so many strong players up and coming behind him. So that's the match coming up next. You will not want to miss it. Malone looking for his first WTT singles title. A China smash would be a nice one to do it with. So Lin Shidong has the serves and the advantage, leading three to one. What's not to love here? Just too good, the speed in these. I was thinking to myself how free Lin Shidong looks in this rally. Yeah, beautiful technique here. 
meeting the ball at exactly the right point. And in that opening one there, looks like Shang Peng's managed to sweep it under the carpet. You know, the fact that he was 10-8 up in that last game and lost four in a row. Love Tough pill one. to swallow. Type of score line you'd like to keep under the carpet. Freedom sets it up, the parallel first, and then one more the other way. Earns it with that short stroke backhand. And the parallel on the opposite side. Beautiful. Both lines being played there. Now it could look like an easy miss, but uncomfortable length from Shang Peng. Yeah, exactly, the finger breaker. It was the perfect half-long serve to make it uncomfortable for Lin Shidong. And right at the baseline, this follow-up, a good combination. It's been a while we've been playing games to 11, alternating serves every two points. When you think about the players that have played through both, Nisha Lien namely, a handful of others. Recently retired Team Bowl saw that change. Man, that sounds sad to say, but to hear. I know. The man that Lin Shidong actually lost to at the Singapore Smash this year after he beat Fan Jindong. I guess that is in a way retiring on top. Yeah, I think taking down Zhang Wu Jin, Tomo Kazu, Harimoto, and Lin Win Ru all in the same event for his first event back after a long, long time. It's a big deal. Let's for two. Sure, a man who these two have studied a lot. Mao Long said himself, the most talented player. Four, three. Remember, no timeout left for Shang Peng. It's a little bit of a comeback here. Still a tight score line. And it feels a little bit like dipping their toes in the water. They're playing, but they're not bringing out the big shots just yet. They're waiting for the right opportunity to really pounce and power through. And that isn't passive by any means. It's it's wary, but it's proactive at the same time. Taking Five, advantage of a little break here in Lin Shidong. What, three in a row now? Call him being down 2-4 regardless. Little fortune here. The whip on that backhand. Oh. Shang Peng takes it. The shield Five, comes up nine. to protect against that first bullet that was delivered by Lin Shidong. You felt that first one. Echo through the annals of the Infinity Arena. Great block from Shang Peng using that. Trying to stay loose across that elbow, the transition point. Now this is unusual. Six, to see Lin Shidong play a ball from behind the table with underspin and just sort of sacrifice positioning that quickly. Gets himself in mid distance. That wasn't the body language you'd normally see from him and Shang Peng in front. It just feels right now like every shot they want to hit, they hit. The other player's gonna have to outplay them. It's amazing. For me, there's still this hide and go seek, this guessing game of is now the right time. Serves unpredictable, Shang Peng mixing it up with the deep serves to the backhand. And Shidong, and the second towel break, back down by two. Good deep push here. Six, seven. The players study each other. Of course they know each other quite well, being of the same generation, training in the same place for the last however many years they've been on the national team quite some time, but they still study video analysis to make sure they come to the table with a clear game plan. It's gotta be weird when you're warming up with each other in the practice hall, the whole time you know you've got a special sort of playlist in your head of what you're gonna pull out that you can't reveal. Mm. 
with what cards are you holding? I'm not telling. Me neither. See you in 30 minutes. Right back to where it came from, hey, behind the somebody. momentum. Beautiful play there from Lin Shidong as the fans, or at least that specific fan, holds his banner high. Yeah, you could see Shang Feng shifting towards the forehand. Used his peripheral vision, but never taking his eyes off the ball. From the middle, the move to the backhand to extend his lead back. Remember, it's must win every game for the rest of this match for the man in red, Shang Peng. Into the crossover or the temptation zone, I guess, there from Shang Kong. We've seen pushes used very well this game. No mm -hmm. with him. Yes. Three points. Six of the last eight, and now three game points for Shang Kong. <laughs> Slow and spinny, cautious play to secure the game. And Shang Kong sure has his fair of Shan, uh, share of fans here, rather. And a fair of Shans probably as well, whatever that means. Heavy spin down low, the legs, watch him work. Shang Peng stays in it. So three to two, Lin Shidong still has the lead. One game away, but he's gonna have to find some answers and it won't be easy as we saw in game number one. And here again in game number five, 11-7 to turn things around. A long way to go potentially in this best of seven if it's gonna be Shang Peng. Game six after this. Back for game six, Zhang Peng to start. Momentum on his side. Lin Shidong doing well to stay in this point because that first big opening attack was high and kicking. step around One. and it was the side spin on the pendulum serve there as well as the length and delivery that really allowed Champong to get in like that to full use of it good after motion but the parallel right down the line it's the serve to set up the opportunity Again, that wide forehand using the wrist well to cover the elbow and bend around the ball. Yeah, some coaches may say you shouldn't come across it so much with the backhand, but sometimes that's necessary to create the side spin to, to guide it out wide. Good start from Lin Shidong. Now we're seeing stirring from Shang Peng in the sense that he's looking for some answers? Absolutely. Now this is tough, you put that much into the ball, the lean on that. Now the opening here, Team Jujen analyzing this, get ready. Push half long to the backhand side, just long enough to get him to step around. If Shang Peng trusts his backhand there, we've got a very different rally. That said, 
Everyone's got their preferences. Understandable why he'd want his forehand. This one appears to be top side spin, the kicker. Deep into the backhand, and Lin Shidong off to a wonderful start to make sure there is no game seven. Civil serve. So tough to tell what's on it. Beautiful angle as well with the third ball. Kills it right to the barrier. Oh, came right back. As powerful as that first one is, Lin Sedong moves as if he got an email yesterday saying, step to your forehand now. Did look choreographed, didn't it there? People often ask, why do they hit it right to the opponent? It's just how it appears. They're fighting to make it uncomfortable for the opponent. It's not usually at this level and this speed easy to hit a ball out of reach. So they go for the elbow first, get someone off balance, try to get them behind the table to create the space. Champong bringing out the backhand serve there at the start of the rally. Something a little bit different. Extra spin, backhand to forehand. Lin Shidong finally turning, looking up for the replay. The Chinese national team impressed with the spins on these shots. So good to see. You wonder how Wang Chichin feels. I mean, man, these youngsters, they're going to be challenging him for many, many years. Right, this is the future. Well, 24 years Three, old. Nine. Knocked out in the round of 32. But I talked to him the day after, and he's in good spirits. Said feeling better. He's an incredibly level-headed guy. I think he likes the challenge. If he was up there alone, it would sort of be boring. This is good for him to continue improving, and it's good for China. Once again, and it sets up seven match points to get himself a spot in the final. Lin Shidong would be waiting for the winner of Ma Long and Liang Jing Quinn. The match to follow this, seven of them here. A little bit off the top of the net, but Zhang Peng staying alive. The fight till the end. And that's a characteristic which will always put him in a favorable position. Lin Shidong does it. He oh, takes down Shang Kong. And from the start of this battle, we were in for a roller coaster ride, no doubt about it. We've got our first finalist. And whatever the conversation is, maybe about flashes in the crowd, it was a flash.